Hi, I'm Dr. John Deary. Thanks for visiting Canberra Vasectomy. I've been performing vasectomy since 2004 and have just done just under 5,000 procedures. I'm currently performing over 600 vasectomies per year. The type of vasectomy that I choose to perform is called a non-scalpel vasectomy with fascial interposition. This is the gold standard of vasectomies with the lowest failure rate, least complication rate and fastest recovery. It is a technique used by the world's most experienced vasectomy surgeons. Before your appointment, we will have another video for you to watch. During that video, we will explain the basic physiology of the reproductive system, the procedure of the vasectomy, and any possible post-operation complications that you might experience. Please also have a look at the FAQ on our webpage. This answers most people's questions. During our initial consultation, I will answer any further questions that you have. I will also perform a physical examination to check that the vasectomy can safely and easily perform for you. Once again, thank you for visiting Canberra Vasectomy. The purpose of this video is to be able to explain the procedure of a vasectomy to you so that you can um, have an informed opinion about whether you should do this procedure. This is the process of signing a consent. As part of the talk, I'm going to explain the normal reproductive physiology. I'm then going to explain the process of the vasectomy and then I'm going to finish off by talking to you about possible um, complications after the surgery. Before I start talking about the reproductive physiology, we just need to talk about, you know, what if I change my mind? About one in a hundred people that have a vasectomy want to have a vasectomy reversal. And most of those vasectomy reversals are successful, but a small number are not. It's quite time dependent. Within five years of having a vasectomy, somewhere over 95% of vasectomy reversals are successful. But that still leaves one in 20 men that it won't be successful in. There are other techniques that can be done for those people to be able to father children, but it won't be by having a vasectomy reversal. From here, I'm going to walk you through the normal reproductive physiology. The testicles do two main things. The first thing they do is make male hormones. Those hormones are secreted directly into your bloodstream. The second main thing they do is produce sperm, and I'll explain how the sperm get out of the body. Most of the size of the testes is made up of small tubes. Those small tubes then join to form into a larger tube. The larger tube is known as the vas, and that's why we call the operation a vasectomy. The sperm produced in the testes swim up the two tubes and empty out into two small holding cells inside your body. They're called the seminal vesicles. When you have sex, the seminal vesicles squeeze and shoot everything out. Only 2-3% to of the volume of what you shoot out is due to the sperm. Most of what you shoot out is fluid, and the fluid is produced in the prostate, which is next to the seminal vesicles inside the body. This is the basics of how the reproductive physiology works. Now I'm going to explain the technique of having a vasectomy. I like to be courteous, so before we start the operation, I'm going to put some local anaesthetic in. The anaesthetic goes under the skin and then around the two small tubes. Importantly, there is no injections into the testes. That would be really mean, and for no purpose. The anaesthetic introduction is the only part of the operation that should hurt. Anaesthetic, when it's introduced, often hurts, but not always. If it does hurt, it will normally hurt for between 5 to 10 seconds on each side. Once everything is numb, I will make a small hole about 4 or 5 millimeters in the front of the scrotum. I'll then reach in through the hole and I'll grab the right tube. I'll pull it through the hole so that I can see it. Once I can see it, I'll divide it into two parts. I will then also seal the end of the tube that's closest to your body. The last step is the most important step. The vas is contained inside a natural lining called a sheath. I sew that lining together, effectively making a permanent mini condom on the end closest to the body. These are all very good barriers. This operation should work. However, it only works really well if you remind me to do the second side. It's okay, I'll probably remember. I've done 5,000 of these and I haven't forgotten one side yet. The end of the tube that's closest to the testy, we leave it where it is and we don't do anything to it. And importantly, the end of it is left open. Why do we do this? This operation has no effect on how the testes work. That means you'll keep producing sperm all the time and we need to find somewhere for those sperm to go. They'll keep swimming up the vas, but they'll now empty out the end into the space inside the scrotum. They don't last long in that space. They'll die off within a few days. You'll have no understanding of this happening. Importantly, we've been emptying sperm into that space for almost 50 years. We know it's safe to do this. 
This operation has no effect on the male hormones at all. It also doesn't affect the ability to produce the fluid or to be able to shoot the fluid out. And that means there'll be no difference in what sex feels like. However, because there's sperm in the fluid at the time of the operation, you will not be sterilized immediately. So we're gonna do the operation. I'd like you to continue to have sex. I'd like you to continue using protection. At three months after the operation, we do a sperm check to make sure this has worked. When I get the results of the test, I will send a text and an email to you confirming that it's worked. About one in a thousand of these don't work. It's normally preferable to find out on a sperm test rather than a pregnancy test. There is also a very small risk of late vasectomy failure. About one in 5,000 patients, despite having had a clearance test at three months, will develop live sperm at a later date. The local anaesthetic that we put in wears off an hour or two after the operation. When that wears off, you'll have a little bit of pain, roughly equivalent to a minor sore tooth. We do the procedures on Thursdays and Fridays. Most tradesmen successfully return to work on a Monday. But you will be a little bit tender for about seven to 10 days after the operation. And if you do any vigorous exercise, I would normally recommend having a week off. While you can exercise, the more you do, the more it will hurt. You won't cause yourself any damage by exercising, but it will lead to more pain. Complications are possible after any procedure and vasectomy is no different. Around three to 4% of patients will have complications after having a vasectomy. You get my phone number. If you have any concerns after the operation, please call me or text me. I'm more than happy to help out at any point. The complication that we're most concerned about is you developing an infection. And if you get an infection, you'll know about it because it hurts a lot please call or text. Everyone bruises after the operation. A small number of patients, less than one in a thousand, will have significant bleeding after the operation and end up with a lump of blood sitting inside their scrotum for several weeks. This scares men. It can cause some low level discomfort as well. It resolves by itself though over a period of a few weeks. There is a chance you might get some lingering pain about every 300 patients, I'll get one patient whose pain will persist for two to three months. That normally settles down without any intervention apart from using some Panadol and Nurofen most days. However, in the last almost 5,000 procedures that I've done, about one in a thousand men have had to have a second operation to make their pain better. As with all things, there is a risk of death. Thankfully for vasectomy, it's one in a million. And that is caused by patients not seeking help when they get an infection. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.